I've been getting some questions about people not having certain sub tool settings. So I'm going to show you guys how to get the sub tool settings to show if you don't have them. So what we're really talking about is in our tool property uh, windows. So if we, I'm just going to create a new canvas here. So if we grab a brush, like I've got the opaque watercolor and I want to change some settings of the tool, we find the tool property uh, manager here. Side note, if you don't have that window, go to window and then click on tool property. That will bring it up. And you can also grab the sub tool detail from here as well, but I'll show you uh, a different way to get to the sub tool detail here. And there's a little button at the bottom and it says, um, show sub tool details, the little wrench. So if we click show sub tool detail, this is going to show everything that you can possibly do. And there's a lot more you can do than what's just in your basic, uh, tool property settings likely. So you can turn them on by clicking the eyeball. So for example, brush size, that's one of the usual default ones. If I turn it off, you'll notice it disappears in the bottom left. So here it is, turn it off and it's disappeared. So if there's certain settings, you're like, I don't have that one. You gotta go find it and turn it on. So one of the ones that we often talk about is the stabilizer. I often turn that on for various uh, brushes. There might be some in here that are good uh, under brush tip, spraying effect texture even. So a lot of these are turned off and you don't necessarily have to turn them off to go and change it. You can go into your um, wrench here, the sub tool detail to um, change what you have there for the brush. Correction is probably where we're going to find stabilization. Yeah. So this one I always have on because it's super useful. So if you're missing any tools or um, settings, should I better word it as, uh, in your tool properties, you need to find your sub tool details for the particular brush or tool you're using to change it and turn the eyeball on like that. So I hope that helps.